Hey, welcome back. It's a reading vlog. It's more like a study ending second year of college reading vlog. It's Sunday, it's 10 past 11. Tomorrow is my final exam for my second year in college. It's land law, so I'm studying a little bit today. Since my exam started, I haven't been reading, I haven't read. I haven't read a book in about two weeks, but I did start an audiobook on Friday. It's called Shadow of a Fox. And if you've read Jade Fire Gold by C.L. Tan, it reminds me of that book. It's a YA fantasy. There's two main characters, it's dual narrative. One of the main characters is a kitsune. She's living with monks in a monkistry in a monastery, in a monastery. She's basically learning about her powers because she's a fox. Goes to this other guy who's a main character and he is a demon slayer. The bad guys in the book want this scroll so they can, I don't know, resurrect something, something and get a wish from this thing so they can become like, I don't know, rulers or something. The monastery that the main character is living in has this um, scroll that these people are looking for. So then, you know, they went over there, killed everyone in the monastery, the main character got out, she has a scroll, and she bumps into the, this, the other guy, the main character, who's looking for the scroll too. And, you know, obviously she said, you know, will you help me? Um, she didn't say she had the scroll, because he would have killed her. Um, so they're helping each other now. It's going okay, I've listened to four hours of it. Honestly, I'm not loving it a lot, because I listened to, like, two hours of it yesterday, coming back from work, and I had to go somewhere else to collect money. My head was feeling so full and I got a headache later on because I'm on my period. <laughs> Love, lovely. Um, so like two hours of it was me just not wanting to listen to it and I listened to it on two times speed which I shouldn't have because I was getting so confused I literally don't know what the main characters names are. But right now I'm going to go back upstairs and study land law. Basically preparing answers for the exam tomorrow because I don't know what she's going to ask but I'm preparing in the hopes that it's what she's gonna ask. There's so much to update because I have so many things going on now. So I'll see tomorrow's my last day of college, of college. I might be going to my accommodation either like Tuesday or Wednesday because me and my housemates, my two girl housemates are, we want to have dinner together as like a final memorial, memorial, <laughs> like final moment of us being together because we won't be housemates anymore. Thursday to Saturday, maybe Sunday, I'll be in Belfast to see Ed Sheeran with my friend and yes we're going to Belfast we're going to see the Titanic maybe the Giants Causeway I'm gassed I need to go I need to study I will see you upstairs oh my god I forgot to tell you it's actually okay so it's about 20 minutes later because I just edited this clip because I like editing the clips right after I did them um my students have their my Constantina students have their exam today like it's literally their exams are done. Their exams were like at half past 10 and 20 to 11. So they've done their exams and I have class with them tomorrow. So hopefully they did good. They're happy with how they did. Okay, this time I'm definitely going upstairs to study after I edit this clip. <laughs> it is half eight. I've listened to none of the audiobook. I have slightly started reading Beach Read by Emily Henry. I'm only kind of picking it up and reading it and putting it down when I want to, which is basically after like five pages. So I'm on page like 30, I think. I don't want to read. I want to actually do stuff. But then when I'm bored, I don't want to go on my phone all the time, which is why I would read. So I don't know what to do. Anyways, so I finished studying around like one because I didn't, I did not want to do any more. Um, I finished what I had to finish. So I'm just going to wait for tomorrow. I'm, I am going to wake up earlier tomorrow. So it opens at 9. So I might wake up at like half 7. I went cycling with dad. And that was fun. And um, we went up this really, really steep hill. I mean, like it was, it was this. I saw, I went around a corner. I immediately saw this. I was like, no. I, I obviously did go up it. But immediately thought, no, back. I'm going back. I'm going home. Um, We actually did the route twice. Which I was really gassed. Like physically I was gassed. <laughs> like gassed. Like it was good. I enjoyed it. I really like cycling. I like going downhill. It's always fun going downhill. We got to 44 kilometers an hour. Which is pretty good. Going down the hill. Not uphill. Imagine going at 44 kilometers an hour uphill. You've got to be on some hardcore drugs for that. Or just like a professional cyclist. 
either one but today was it was weird because i know i don't have that much priorities left college wise so it feels weird but yes i will see you tomorrow It starts in two minutes. Mm -hmm. Mortgages. Oh, yes. Okay, I need to go. I have three hours. Bye. I just submitted the exam with one minute to spare. I was freaking my shit out. I was making sure I sent in the right one. Then I was over the word count for one question. So I was deleting shit with two minutes to spare because I would have lost loads of marks. And oh my god, I was fucking stressed. I have done... Wait, let me actually make sure that I haven't gone over the word count. Because it's 1,500 um, per question that you have to do. With she'll allow like for 150 over and... Oh, you can see me. Over and under. I'm so happy with myself that I pre-prepared questions. Because boy, if I did not have anything prepared for this, I would be absolutely fucked. Um, so I'm happy about that. And I think I did go for the first question, I went over time, it took me an hour and 20 minutes, so I had only three hours. So then for my second question, I was speeding it along, and then my third question, thankfully I had the exact question and answer for it. I had the exact one, so I literally just copy and paste and just added a few things. So that one was grand, that was finished in like 10 minutes, whereas the first two questions I needed a whole lot of time. I've done 4,481 words. I... Wow. I'm proud of myself. Honestly, I hope I do really well. I think I did. I think I will do well. Guess what, dudes? That makes no sense. But I'm finished second year of college. <laughs> well, I still have to give Constantina lessons for the next four weeks. Ugh. I'm not happy about that. Ugh. Um, But it should be. That should be grand. I'm really happy with that answer. I want my results back right now so I can see what I got. But I'm finished, dudes. I'm finished. I'm an accomplished second year going on to third year student. <laughs> it is one o'clock and I've just been sorting out my desk um, because I got rid of all like the books, law books, college books from the desk so I don't have to look at it. Let's look at it. Let's have a gander. So my desk is absolutely massive for some reason but here we are. Um, so I got rid of all my books. I had so many law books and shit here so I got rid of those and I just put them under there um but I also put them somewhere else and yeah we have progress it looks a lot better the thing is I don't know what to do now so after I did my exam about an hour ago um I had to send in something for placement so I had to do fill out a form so I can hand it in to them so I'll be starting placement on the 4th of July so I have like over a month free before that but I'll be working anyways in the place I'm already working the only thing I have to do today is concertina lessons and I'm good. I don't know, for some reason I would want to clean my room more. I'm in the cleaning mood. I'm happy that I'm finished. Slightly weird though because I don't have to study anymore. I can read freely. I, oof, I did read a bit more. I got to page 88. I actually put the bookmark in because I've been not putting the bookmark in and just picking it up and seeing where I left off um, of beach read. I don't want to get into the toxic where I just keep on reading and reading and reading and reading but I want to read that's the thing I want to read I don't want to go on my phone I want to read I'm just complaining about the most minuscule problem that there is to mankind but for some reason my mind is you know books from the library i'll do a haul once i give you my updates on the actual book i'm reading so beach read i've read a lot today um i'm on page 292 so i've about like 70 pages left really liking it i'm really invested in each word each page you know i'm trying to not skim which i usually do 
if there's like pointless paragraphs describing like a house I'm like okay I just don't need to know about this house and what colour it is and what texture it has. Did I even tell you what this book is about? It's basically a rom-com of two main characters, they're two writers, they were rivals in college and they end up like living next to each other and yeah it goes from there. Show the way I kept on complaining about how toxic I was reading. Okay fuck that I'm gonna read if I want to. If I want to go back to how I was reading I'll go back to how I was reading because I probably will. I'll just read for the whole day every day. I listened up to five hours of Shadow of the Fox when I was cleaning yesterday. It's going grand. It's a okay book right now. I'd say a solid like three stars so far right now because I'm not like entirely invested in the characters in the story. If that book. We're getting onto the library hall. Four books from the library. I don't know why um, because I have a healthy stack of TBR over there but the library updated in Ireland so that means I can now physically see like the book cover of what the books are and it's amazing and I can still order books online and then them for them to come into the library because they stopped that for like a couple months and I was depressed and then I came back or I found it it was probably always there but I just didn't look but here we are and I ordered so many more books from the library it's just so fun because you don't have to pay so I'm just like I'm tr fucking trigger happy with this library um so the first one is this is death note volume nine it's a it's a really easy beginner manga series which for me is very helpful i did read tokyo ghoul a couple weeks ago i found it so hard to understand this character is left right and center bouncing off the pages um but yeah this one i enjoy a lot more next one i got is a floppy paperback it's great um the gentleman's guide to vice and virtue by Mackenzie lee like, this was talked about f like a few years ago constantly everyone loved this and i'm excited i don't have a clue what this is about next book is laura dean keeps breaking up with me and this is a graphic novel the last book is again but better by christine ratio ratio this is the youtuber she released this book a couple of years ago and i never read it but she was one of the first booktubers i ever started watching i still love her i just don't watch her videos anymore um, her book talks on like Sergei Mas books were supremely well and whenever I finished one of Sergei Mas's books I just straight away went to her book talks. I heard it's terrible. It's about second chances, discovering yourself and being brave enough to try again. Oh it's set in college. Oh, I already showed you my bullet journal month. Oh my god I forgot to tell you so I'm taking part again in whatever a thon, read a thon for the whole of June. And I want to take part in that again because I did it last year I think I only vlogged for like one week um I mean I wasn't like strict to myself like Sarah you got to vlog for every day 24 hours in a day um but yeah I think I'm gonna do this do it this year and I want to make like a spread or like not even a spread just like a page of like the prompts my TBR for me so far I haven't I don't like writing down a strict TBR because I don't really like TBRs to be honest um if I do them on YouTube, it's just for the enjoyment of the viewer. I don't read the books unless I want to. Like, I pick up a book if I want to read it. Um, I've put down Beach Read because I'm already reading that. And Underlock, Mariana Zapata, because I do want to do want to read that. I've also written down, you know, books and movies and TV shows. And I've watched a few. So TV shows, I watched Heartstopper a few days ago, season one. It was really cute. I was squealing at, like, every scene. I watched Conversation with a Killer, um, John Gacy. I started it in April, but I finished it in may and the movies i watched is the lost city i loved it so much if you haven't watched the movie watch it it's so funny channing tatum and sandra bullock an iconic duo and brad pitt was in it too for smallville then the next movie i watched was 365 days this day an iconic movie the first movie came out i don't know last year the year before <laughs> it wasn't even good it's just like your man is so good looking he's unnaturally fucking great to look at and this movie actually did have a bit of plot the movie is actually weirdly produced because they spend like five to ten minutes on a montage of the exact same things bitch it, it, you get bored so i was thinking after i finish beach read i don't know when i'll finish this i don't know when maybe today tomorrow i'm not pressuring myself but because i'll be traveling a lot from thursday to saturday I don't know if I want to read A Little Life because it's a bigger book and I don't know. This clip has been supremely long. Goodbye. Dudes, I got an email from my constitutional law lecture 
like to everyone in the constitutional law class saying that she's marked all our exams and she said there was loads of plagiarism and people are going to go to the the board they'll have to like talk about why they plagiarized to the board and then she proceeded to say that okay so beforehand our exam is six hour open book perfect she's now changing that because of how our class plagiarized um, because people literally copy and pasted paragraphs from google put it into their exam which is the most retarded thing ever what is wrong with these people um and she's basically because of all she's changing the exam layout for future classes which <laughs> sucks to be next year's class for her um thankfully i don't know if she'll be my lecture for any other modules i kind of hope she will be because i think she's my favorite um lecture so far she's really good well that's so jokes no i didn't plagiarize because it came back as a like 11 percent, but like most of it was the cover page and you know case names well fuck the people who plagiarized i feel bad for them anyways i found out there might be a love island australia that was released like six months ago so i might <laughs> look that up <laughs> you never know i'm almost almost i'm almost finished beach lover beach lover honey lovers the book I'm reading, I'm almost finished it too. I have only 30 pages left. Goodbye. We got goslings. Hello, how are you? How's it going? It's half 11 in the morning for a Thursday morning. Reading wise, I finished Beach Read on Tuesday. Gave it four stars. Really enjoyed it. It was cute. It was nice. I liked it. The characters, you know, they weren't 2D characters. Is that what you say when characters are like bland? They had like 3D, 4D elements to them. I enjoyed it. Then, you know, do you know when I was saying that I should read a little life because I'll be gone for a few days and it's a thicker book. I did start it. I am now finished part one. Um, it has taken me. So it's Thursday, Tuesday. I started it Tuesday night. I only read 10 pages. Um, it has taken me that many an amount of days to get to page 86. Um, but we're on part two, the postman. Part one. It was good. It was a good backstory into the four main characters. Four main characters, they're in their mid-twenties. They just rented out a, an apartment in New York. And they're just trying to find their way. It's so real what all these characters are going through. And oh, I highlighted a quote. I'm not annotating it. I feel like I should though. But I highlighted this because I thought it was, thought it was me. There's been so many lines where I'm like, oh my God, that is so true. So this is one of the quotes I have highlighted. It was like any relationship. He felt it took constant pruning, dedication and vigilance. And if neither party wanted to make the effort, why wouldn't it wither? Facts, factorinos. I have a habit. I have a thing of just not texting anyone. I'm so bad for doing that. Cause I like, you know, meeting my friends in person. Like I would maybe text them and be like, when are you free? Like I don't text them like randomly like how's your day? I'm not that kind of person. But it's taking me a lot to read like 20 pages. It's not that it's dense, it's just that it's so real and I'm like observing every word, I'm looking at every word. Um, otherwise, yes, it's going well. Okay, so Wednesday was a really chill day. These past few days I have been doing a whole load of TikToks, like book recommendation TikToks follow me on tiktok because i do so much book recommendations um because they're so fun to film because i love doing the transitions uh like i'm trying to figure out new ones and they're so cool i like them a lot so i did god i did that for like a couple hours i have so many drafts now so many drafts i'm just going all over the place um and i've plaited my hair because i want it to be 
platy looking but i found this today uh the throne glass coloring book i've only done one fully have i even finished a fully oh i have which is on the first page good old selena um oh my god this was released when akawar wasn't even out Oh my god um what other one have i done i've done a little bit of arabin the iconic villain of throne of glass actually he's like the minor villain to be honest if you get later on in the books there is a hefty other villain or two villains it brings back memories i've literally on an everyday basis whenever i see throne of glass or akatar i want to reread them because they're my favorite of all time what was i saying before that yesterday okay so yeah i did all the tiktoks I think I packed yesterday, so my bag's here because I'll talk about that later. But anyways, when Dad came back from work, uh, we went cycling. <laughs> I thought it was going to be a leisurely cycle, you know, in the sun. You know, I only had my helmet on. I didn't have any like other equipment, what you would usually bring for mountain biking. So the place we went to is actually an extension of the place that we usually mountain bike. And it's like at the back end of it. So it's just like this massive ass mountain with lo so many trails. And like at the start of the mountain, it tells you like the beginner trails, intermediate and expert. And then we were in the back end of it. So it doesn't tell you what the trails are. And they just, they're just everywhere. On that mountain too, there's walking trails and biking trails. We were going through the walking trails and then we saw like a biking trail going down or up. So we, you know, we went on it. Me and dad are not expert mountain bikers, let me tell you that. For like the first 20 minutes, it was like a constant hill. My fucking lungs. I had a heart attack every five minutes. Five minutes. I had to get off my bike, have a heart attack, got back on the bike. It was terrible. But then <laughs> once we got like down a downhill, it was, ugh, it, it invigorated me. Is, is that weird? Um, but yes, yeah, so it, it went well then. So we found so many trails. These trails were so, so dangerous. Some of them were like, bah. And I was like, what do you mean, bah? I can't go, bah. I can only go, ha. Um, we, so some of them were bad. We had to like get off our bike and actually bring the bike down um, walking. But this one trail, it was, it was really nice because it was like in this forestry area and it was recently cut down and new trees were growing so they were only small little guys and like the trail was in between all that so it was really nice and we were looking onto like the thingy but like i mean we couldn't look on because we were so focused on the ground of staying alive so we were going down this one particular trail the one i just described and you know it was speeding i'd say it was like intermediate to expert level so we were going down it you know flying away i like to vocally express my soon-to-be demise um, so I'm always like shouting at every corner. I'm like, oh Jesus, oh Mary and Joseph and Jesus. So we're going down flying it. And there was these two sticks up on top of each other. So we were coming down like here going around. Two sticks up top. You went over it, you went down. You went down. I'm talking roller coaster down. I mean, stomach in your mouth down. You didn't even know I was down until you were going down. I was going first and my dad was behind me. So I went over, my front tire went down. I survived. I did not fall off the bike. I had a heart attack though. It was fucking unreal. Like I could, like my f stomach felt like it was actually coming up. It was unreal. It felt like a roller coaster, but like a really dangerous, no support roller coaster. So I went down that. <laughs> Dad was pissing himself laughing because you know, he just saw me me go down. So he actually went around it, um, the lucky bastard. And then we went further down. I was going like, 90 everywhere and like even going down from that trail it was dodgy so we later on we did that exact same one again and you know i did the two sticks down again had equal amount of heart attack um because at that moment you feel like you can fall off at any second and my dad he did it too he went down <laughs> but for me i went down and i got back up he went down and didn't get back up so after I went down and like went over a small bit, he went down. His tire went the wrong way and he went in. He went over his handlebars. And 
so I went further down and I just heard like the noise. So I stopped, I got off my bike and I looked back and I could just see my dad face first into the earth. It was fucking hilarious. It wasn't funny at the time, I like ran up and I was like, are you good? Um, it was so funny because so he was off his bike. He was, he was on his bike still, but he was down. Like he was facing down into the earth. Um, like he got scrapes on his legs and God, he got like so much dirt in his um, jumper. Luckily he was wearing a helmet. Always wear your helmet, kids. Like if he wasn't wearing his helmet, he would have totally got like a fucking concussion or something like that. But I only started laughing when we got back in the car to leave. Because his image of him downwards <laughs> facing the earth was absolutely hilarious to me. I kept on laughing. Like yesterday, that whole evening, like we called my brother because he's like the good mountain biker. And I told him and I could not stop laughing. It was the funniest thing ever. It was so funny too because dad was like, the first time we went down, that's two sticks. My dad was pissing himself because it looked like I just like fucking fell off the face of the earth. Um, well then, <laughs> when he actually went into the face of the earth the second time around, I was pissing myself. It was just so funny. Update on my traveling. So I have my bag ready, I think. So today I'm going to Dublin because my friend who I'm going to Ed Sheeran with is in Dublin. So I'm going to stay in our accommodation that night. So Thursday night to Friday. And then Friday we're getting up early to drive to Belfast at the B&B we got which was so cheap we got it for 30 euro for the night like each which is fantastic we don't get breakfast though shame but 30 euro is is really good um and then we're going to go into Belfast city I want to go book shopping but my friend she's like she's not massively into books like she likes books but she's not massively into it so we're just going to have a gander around Belfast and come back change and then go to Eddie Sheeran Saturday then we're going to get up early again because we're going to see the Titanic in Belfast and we're going up to the Giant's Causeway. So when I get to Dublin this evening, I'll get there around like eight. She wants to go out because she's finished. She finished her exam yesterday and she wants to go out. I'll go out. I told her though I didn't really want to drink because I don't really want to drink because when I drink, I don't sleep well and I want to be fully refurbished, you know, ready for, you know, Eddie, Eddie Sheeran. Um, on Friday. Will I be peer pressured? Yes. Will I succumb? We will see. So this will be a monumental day for me. Um, it might seem like the smallest thing ever, but I'm not wearing fake tan. I don't remember the last time I went out and didn't wear fake tan. English and Irish culture is fake tan. You know what I mean? It's fake tan to the max and I'm not wearing fake tan. I'm like the palest of the pale. Like when people say they're pale, I'm like, you liar. Have you seen my skin color? Especially in the sun, I look fucking iridescent. So this will be a challenge for me because I I find it really hard. <laughs> it's really weird, I find it really hard to be comfortable in my pale skin, which is such a weird thing to say. Like I don't like saying it because it seems like such a small thing. But anyways, I shaved yesterday. Oh my God, there's random hairs. Do you know when you shave and then like the next day you see like there's random patches of hair? Like how did I miss that? Oh yeah, that's my next few days. I'll try vlog. A bit of it, maybe. We'll see. Hello, I'm narrating. I'm going to the train. I'm in the train. Got off the train. My friend said we're going out. We stayed until 3 a.m. Unfortunately, got up at 8. This is my Ed Sheeran outfit. <laughs> now we are at Ed Sheeran. He was really great. He was he's such like a humble guy. I love him. And the stadium thingy mabber class. Hello, it is after Ed Sheeran and I have one plaid still on my hair. The other one taken out because I feel like my hair was about to fall off. Um, but yes, I had a great time. It's about like 20 past 11. We're in our B&B. It's a good time to be alive. Okay, next day, Saturday morning, we went to Titanic Belfast. It was amazing. Then we went to Giant's Causeway and there was a lot of walking, but it was so beautiful too. And just sitting down and you know, like, thinking about life it was great then i went home i was on the train no i got the bus first and then the train and there's me sitting down reading my book i had such a good time sitting on the train it was a great time i felt great I was thinking about my trip and thinking how low my patience was which you'll find out in the next clip anyways hello how are you it's sunday evening it's like six o'clock so i came back yesterday at like around nine half nine at night and yeah when I came back, 
immediate. I never wanted to talk to people less in my life. I feel so fucking drained and I just never want to talk to people ever again. But Ed Sheeran was really great. Belfast, the Titanic was amazing to learn about. The Giant's Cause was amazing. So I got to page 288 of A Little Life. Enjoyment levels is a solid three stars, but what the meaning of the book is, I feel like I should give it five stars. But because it's totally fiction, there's no plot, there's no romance, there's no romantic interest. If I put down this book, I probably would never pick it up again because it's just really, it's a lot to take in. There's so many trigger warnings in this book. I'm not enjoying it this much because I'm not in love with fiction. I read fiction very minimally. This one's just totally about the characters' lives and the characters' lives are not pretty at all. One of the characters, anyone, anyway, has gone through so far of me reading it is just absolutely tragic and disgusting of what he had to go through. So starting the book, they were in their mid-twenties and now they're 40, or like late thirties, 40 year old. It's not a happy book at all. And I just want to finish it, honestly, but I'm not even halfway through. It's 700 pages. <laughs> I just feel so drained, like how I'm feeling now and how I'm acting to the people around me right now is like how I was when I was a teenager like 15 years old, 16, it was absolutely menace. I was disgusting, my patience was so thin and that's how I'm feeling now. My patience is about 700 feet underneath the ground. I have no patience. It looks like I just had like a fucking horrible three day, you know, getaway, Ed Sheeran concert, Belfast, but like it was a good time. Those segments were good, like Ed Sheeran, that segment was good. The in between, not the best. Goodbye and peace.